Bhagat Singh was a revolutionary freedom fighter considered to be one of the most influential leaders of the Indian independence movement who brought renaissance in the minds of the people for this reason he is often referred to as shahid bhagat singh shahid meaning martyr bhagat singh was born to jaat sandhu and vidyavati in the khatkar kalan village in the lalpur district of punjab singh's given name of bhagat means devotee he came from a patriotic sikh family some of whom had participated in earlier movements supporting the independence of india and others who had served in maharaja ranjit singh's army his family stood for patriotism reform and freedom of the country singh did not attend khalsa high school in lahore because his grandfather did not approve of the school officials loyalty to the british authorities instead his father enrolled him in dayanand anglo vedic high school an arya samajist school bhagat singh's family was actively involved in freedom struggle his father kishan singh and uncle ajit singh were members of ghadar party founded in the us to oust british rule from india family atmosphere had a great effect on the mind of young bhagat singh and patriotism flowed in his veins right from childhood from his young age bhagat singh proved to be a boy who stood for principle the teacher was taking attendance in the class abhijit yes sir anuman yes sir balwan yes sir bhagat singh yes sir The voice of the teacher slows down. Students, in today's class, let's discuss about the great king Shivaji. Tell me, what do you know about Shivaji? He was a great king. He was fearless. Good. Anyone else? Sir, he was very brave. <laughs> That's what Rahul told Sham. Sham kept quiet. The teacher was observing the calm and bold expression of Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh, you look as if you are in a deep thought. Bhagat Singh stood up. Tell me, what was it you are going to say about Shivaji? Sir, he did not know the meaning of the word fear. Even at a young age, he was brought up like that. He was given snakes to play with. He was asked to catch wild animals with his bare hands. Good. Very good. Sir, Shivaji was not scared of anything or anyone. But But what? I too am not scared of anything and I am prepared to die for the sake of the nation. There was pin drop silence after he said that. The teacher broke the silence by clapping his hands and the whole class joined him in clapping. Bhagat Singh my boy, you will become a great man one day and the day is not far. The class got over and Bhagat Singh reached home. Bhagat, why are you late today? 
Mother, I had a fight with my friend today. What happened? Vidya was confused. Mother, Roshan's father is working for the British. He wears new clothes often and boasts about it. Okay, what's your problem? He is deliberately spoiling everyone. Saying him, even other students want to be like him. Bhagat, if that is what they want, it is their wish. Why do you disturb them? I just asked Roshan to stop boasting. But he was making fun of the way we dress and our way of life. Vidya remained calm. I was patient till then. Finally, he started reveling our country and our culture as if he was born in Britain. Then? I slapped him left and right. How can you beat him? You don't have any right to. Mother, if I had not done that, he will become another Britisher and kill others. He is not being brought up as a true Indian by his parents. I had to teach him what India is. But who are you to teach him? Mama, I am an Indian and I have the right. If everyone pulls away, who will stand and fight for India? Someone has to teach a lesson to all these black dogs. Vidya was in tears. Bhagat, you are my life. Don't get into problems like your father and grandfather. Mother, I am indeed your son. Don't worry. Bhagat Singh wipes the tears of his mother. Bhagat Singh grew up to be a handsome young lad of 16 years of age. He protested against the British books and notebooks issued in the school. One day in the class, books and notebooks were distributed by the teacher. Students, collect your books and notebooks today. Sir, I don't want these notebooks. Bhagat, if you are not taking them, then you will be failed in the class. Sir, you are our guide. How can you force me to take these? Bhagat, I understand your feelings, but we are helpless. Bhagat remained silent. He collected the books. As he knew, that his teacher was helpless in this matter. Bhagat left the class and threw his books on the ground. His friends joined him. He lit fire to the books. News spread to the school authorities. Bhagat was arrested for burning the government books. Later, he was released by the authorities and he reached home. His mother Vidya hugged him tearfully. What have you done? Why did you behave like this? I almost died when I heard that you were arrested. Mother, I am born to serve the country and I will do it with all sincerity. Vidya was in deep sorrow. He was a revolutionary ahead of his times. By revolution, he meant that the present order of things, which was based on manifest injustice, must change. Bhagat Singh studied the European revolutionary movement and was greatly attracted towards socialism. He realized that the overthrow of British rule should be accompanied 
by the socialist reconstruction of Indian society and for this political power must be seized by the workers. Though portrayed as a terrorist by the British, Sardar Bhagat Singh was critical of the individual terrorism which was prevalent among the revolutionary youth of his time and called for mass mobilization. One day, Bhagat was discussing things with his friends Sham and Rahul. Sham, I have decided to join the non-cooperation movement of Gandhi J. I also wanted to join, but I am afraid that my family will protest strongly. Sham, I don't want to compel you. It's my decision to join the freedom movement. Bhagat, I will also join the movement and fight against the British. Bhagat, I am also greatly interested, but how will I satisfy my family? Shah, you cannot satisfy everyone all the time. If you want to work for the nation, that should be your aim. Millions in the country have sacrificed their lives for this nation, but I will not force you. You please do whatever satisfies you. Sham felt the great force and truth of Bhagat's words. Bhagat joined the National College. There is an essay competition in the college. Would you like to join? I am not in a mood to do all that. Bhagat, if you win this competition, your essay will be distributed throughout our state. So what? Bhagat, you have been aspiring to speak to the people about the atrocities of the British, is it not? Yes. The topic is freedom. Hooray! I will join this competition. Bhagat won the essay competition set by the Punjab Hindi Sahitya Sammelan. This grabbed the attention of members of the Punjab Hindi Sahitya Sammelan. At that age, he quoted from Punjabi literature and discussed the problems of Punjab. Bhagat Singh became popular with his writing and speaking talent throughout the country. My son, I am proud of you. Everyone in Punjab speaks about my brave son. Bhagat, you have a good understanding of the problems of the people. My son is great. Bhagat Singh gave a new direction to the revolutionary movement in India. He differed from his predecessors on two counts. Firstly, he accepted the logic of atheism and publicly proclaimed it. Secondly, until then, revolutionaries had no conception of post-independence society. One day, on his discussion with his father, Bhagat, I am happy to see a brave son like you, but I am not able to console your mother. But, father, you have always wanted me to be a son of the country. His father smiles. Bhagat, you appear like a rebel to everyone. Father, our leader's immediate goal is the destruction of the British Empire and they had no inclination to work out a political alternative. His father was amazed at his intelligence. Bhagat, you are smart and people loving. Thank you, father. Bhagat Singh, because of his interest in studying and his keen sense of history, gave the revolutionary movement a goal beyond the elimination of the British.
A clarity of vision and determination of purpose distinguished Bhagat Singh from the other leaders of national movement. Days passed. Bhagat joined the non-cooperation movement. He burnt foreign clothes and other foreign goods. He protested against the treatment of natives by the British in government offices. He was arrested by the British government. He was imprisoned and released later. He reached his house after his release. His father and mother received him at home. Vidya hugged her son and kissed him. Bhagat, I'm proud to see a brave son. But what have you planned for your career? You are in your late teens now. Father, I am not interested in becoming a great professional. My only aim is to drive these culprits out of our country. Bhagat, there are millions to do this work in our country. But I cannot keep my hands tied and watch silently even as millions of true Indian soldiers suffer. Bhagat, all right. You do as you wish. But you should also satisfy our wishes. Yes, father. We have seen a girl for you and we want you to get married to her. After marriage, do whatever you want to do. Father, how can I marry at this age? I have so many dreams and you are talking about my marriage now. So you don't want us to be happy, is it not? Bhagat Singh remained silent. He went to bed. But he could not sleep. If I marry, I will be forced to remain in the family. I cannot go out and do the country's work. I have to sacrifice my happiness for the sake of the country. If I remain here, I will be forced to accept marriage. I should no longer stay at home. That night, Bhagat left his house. He became a revolutionary fighter. But unfortunately, Gandhiji withdrew the non-cooperation movement as a result of the killing of policemen by villagers in Uttar Pradesh. This withdrawal of the movement was not liked by Bhagat Singh. He joined the Young Revolutionary Movement and indulged in violence against the British. He also joined the Hindustan Republican Association. In February 1928, a committee from England called Simon Commission visited India. The purpose of its visit was to decide how much freedom and responsibility could be given to the people of India. But there was no Indian on the committee. This angered the Indians and they decided to boycott the Simon Commission. While protesting against the Simon Commission in Lahore, Lala Lajpat Rai was brutally lati charged and later on succumbed to injuries. Bhagat Singh was determined to avenge Lajpat Rai's death by shooting the British official responsible for the killing. In 1928, he formed his own party, the Kirti Kisan Party. He was the secretary of the meeting. His close associate was Sukhdev Thapal. Instead of addressing the root cause for discontent of Indians, the British government took more repressive measures. Under the Defense of India Act, it gave more power to the police to arrest persons and stop processions. 
Bhagat Singh's friend Sukhdev came to meet him. Hey Bhagat, how are you? Did you hear about the Simon Commission? Yes, I did. But in one way, it's good that our political situation is analyzed by the British authorities. The British government created a commission under Sir John Simon to report on the current political situation in India. But not even a single Indian member is on the board. So our people are taking out a silent march to protest against the arrogant behavior of the British. Who's leading the march? Our great Lalaji, Lala Lajpat Rai. I am also participating in the protest. Are you coming along? I have to make arrangements for next week's meet. If you want me to come, I will. No, no, I will take care. You attend to the preparations. Bhagat left to join the protest against the British along with Lala Lajpat Rai. Two days later, Bhagat Singh returned to his hometown and Sukhdev came running to meet him. Bhagat, was there any problem in the protest? I am highly disturbed. Tears flowed from Bhagat's eyes. Sukhdev was shocked. Come on Bhagat, what happened? I cannot forget the way in which Lalaji was treated. It happened before my very eyes. I cannot forget the scene. Was there any violence against Lalaji? Violence? They bit him on his chest with lattice. He suffered multiple injuries and was hospitalized. It was only a silent march, but they could not allow even that to go on. Bhagat, we have to do something about this. We should not keep quiet. Yes. In the meantime, a friend of Bhagat comes running. Bhagat! Any problem? Lalaji is no more. Bhagat was shocked. Bhagat, we should kill the animal who has killed Lalaji. Yes, there is nothing wrong in making the murderers pay for their actions. Bhagat, let's work out a plan. Sukhdev and Bhagat plotted to kill the police chief. Our good friend Jay Kopal could identify him for us. We both will go with Jay Gopal. Jay Gopal knows the government officials. He can identify General Scott, the villain of the peace. The next day, Bhagat and Sukhdev went along with their friend Jay Gopal to the ground where the officers used to work out in the early hours. Bhagat and Sukhdev went in normal attire as if they were workers of the guest house. Bhagat, be careful. Pretend as if you are cutting the grass. The moment Scott comes out, I will signal and you can shoot him. Bhagat and Sukhdev nodded. Both pretended as if they were cutting the grass and slowly the officers started working out on the ground. After 10 minutes, Bhagat and Sukhdev heard a mild whistle from Jai Gopal, who was standing on the other side of the ground. Bhagat turned slowly. He saw two officers coming out. He saw Jai Gopal signaling him.
the fat man. The next moment, Bhagat Singh fired at the fat man. Within moments, he fell dead. The sound of firing alerted people. And many officers came running to the spot. But what a misfortune. Instead of Scott, another officer, Saunders by name, was shot as Jay Gopal had shown the wrong person. Jay Gopal was not sure. Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev escaped from the place. They went to Lahore. Bhagat was terribly upset. Oh, what a blunder I have done, Sukhdev. I am not able to bear this. I have killed an innocent person. Sukhdev consoled him. Don't worry. It's not your problem. But remember one thing in life. No one is punished without a reason. Do your work and proceed ahead. Bhagat and Sukhdev went underground in Lahore. In the face of actions by the revolutionaries, the British government enacted the Defense of India Act to give more powers to the police. The purpose of the act was to combat revolutionaries like Bhagat Singh. Did you hear about the new powers given to the police? They inflict the greatest sufferings on us and then assume even greater powers. Sukhdev, we should protest. Bhagat, tell me your plan. As part of our Hindustan Republic Association, we should explode a bomb to show our protest. But it should not harm anyone. How do we go about a plan? Let's go for a bomb which is deafening but does not do much damage. Alright, let's proceed. Two days later, Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev threw a bomb in the assembly corridors. The noise was deafening but none was heard. Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev ran to safety. Inkulab Zindabad! Inkulab Zindabad! Inkulab Zindabad! Inkulab Zindabad! Inkulab Zindabad! Inkulab Zindabad! The police rushed towards them. Now whereas me too? Bhagat quietly allowed himself to be arrested. The police arrested both. And put them in jail. Bhagat Singh was just 24 years old. So, did you see the treatment meted out to our prisoners here? The British murderers are given royal treatment, but our leaders do not even have the basic amenities. What can we do here, Bhagat? Why not? We will undertake a hunger strike. Good idea. Bhagat Singh and other prisoners launched a hunger strike 
for better amenities for Indian prisoners and under trials. Bhagat Singh addressed the prisoners. Friends, British murderers and thieves are treated better than Indian political prisoners who by law have better rights. We are treated like slaves. They should ensure edible food for political prisoners and make books and daily newspapers available to them. Political prisoners should have better clothing and toilets. Political prisoners should not be forced to do any labor or undignified work. Bhagat commenced the hunger strike and it lasted for 63 days. He was growing sick day by day. Finally, the British had to oblige. Finally, Indian political prisoners were given better treatment. News spread far and wide and Bhagat Singh became famous throughout the nation. The British government was not able to withstand the willpower of Bhagat Singh. The government decided to hang Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev as they knew well that if they were left free, they would be a headache to the government. The news reached Bhagat Singh. His friend Sham rushed to meet Bhagat Singh. He broke down on seeing him. Bhagat, I cannot bear to hear this news. You should not be hanged. You have not committed any mistake, Bhagat. I can even give my life for you and Sukhdev. Bhagat smiled. Shab, don't bother. Someday every one of us has to die. Let it be my turn today for the sake of the nation. Me and Bhagat knew well that we will be killed one day once we join this movement. But we don't want to be hanged. It would like we would like to be killed. killed. We want to die in a brave manner. If they shoot us, we will be happy. Sham hugged him in tears and left. An appeal was given to the Viceroy to kill both by shooting. But it was rejected. On October 7th, 1930, Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev were awarded death sentence by a special tribunal. Despite great popular pressure and numerous appeals by political leaders of India, Bhagat Singh and his associates were hanged in the early hours of March 23rd, 1931. Bhagat Singh was 24. He emerged as the only alternative to Gandhi and the Indian National Congress, especially for the youth. After reading about the Russian Revolution, Bhagat Singh wanted to die for the nation so that his death would inspire the youth of India to unite and fight the British Empire. Bhagat Singh was a man of strong willpower and undaunted determination. His famous quotes were, It is easy to kill individuals, but you cannot kill their ideas. Great empires crumble while ideas survive.